In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Z order group in the Time Savers 1 tab of the Time Savers add-in. So the Z order group allows you to select any shapes and bring them to the front or the back, but it's a little bit different to how it normally works in PowerPoint. In PowerPoint, when you bring things to the front or the back, they remain in their same order respective to each other, um, just being brought to the front or the back. However, with what I've created here, you're able to choose what order you want them to be brought to the front or sent to the back in. You can also choose to send them to the, bring them to the front or send them to the back in a reverse order, or you can choose to shuffle them as well. There's that order. So that is what I'm going to be showing you now. So first of all, I'm going to show you the example where the two buttons over here are the default. So if I click on this over here, it will uh, bring everything that I have selected to the front in the order that I selected it. I need to select the shape that I want to be right at the front first and work my way backwards from there. So if I want to have shape five, right at the front and then three and then seven and then nine and then eight and then four and then two and then one and then six and then ten. So I have selected that that is the order I want them to be brought to the front. Then if I click on this button, that is what's going to happen. Now obviously at the moment it doesn't look any different, but if I align them all together, then you can see now five is on the top, then three, then seven, then nine, then eight, then four, then two, then one, six, and 10. It's the order that I selected them in from front to back. So the first shape that I select is the one that's going to be brought right to the front. And the last one that I select is the one that's going to be furthest to the back. Now, obviously if there, if I had, let me just undo all of that. If I had not selected all of them, then any shapes that I did not select would be left behind all the shapes that I have selected because everything that I'm selecting is being brought to the front just in a specific order. So anything that I haven't selected is not being brought to the front at all. So it will remain behind anything else that I have selected. So if I were to only select, let me say I would do four, three, two, one. So at the moment, let me just show you if I um, align all of them. <sighs> Wait, let's now let me align all of them. Okay, so at the moment, 10 is on top, then 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and so on. Okay, so it's in order where the smallest is right at the back and the largest is right at the front. Okay, so if I want to have it different, where I want to have the 1 on the top and then 2 and then 3 and then 4, then I will go and click on that. And now let me go and select all of them and align all of them. And then you can see now I've got one on the top, then two, then three, then four. And then it carries on the way it was before, 10, 9, 8, because I didn't select any of the rest of these, so they haven't changed. Okay, so that is um, this button over here where you can select shapes or any other objects on your slide and choose to bring them to the front in the order that you have selected them, where the first item that you select is brought right to the front and then the ones that you select after that are further uh, from the front. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is this one over here where you can reverse the order. So now this I put in because I know I have found that I get very frustrated sometimes when I insert pictures. So let me show you over here. I'm going to go and insert some pictures. So let me say I'm going to insert these ones. And then they get inserted in the order that they were in the um, folder. But now sometimes I wish that they could be the other way around, that the first shape in the folder can be right at the front and the last shape in the folder can be right at the back. So that is what this button over here is for. You can reverse the order and at the same time, they'll be brought to the front. So you can just click on that and they automatically get reversed in their order. So the, the ones that were right at the back will now be brought right to the front and the one that was right at the front will be sent right to the back. Obviously, like I said, it is going to be brought to the front of the side. So if there was anything else on top of a, any of these shapes, then these shapes will then be brought in front of those. Okay, so that is that example. Then I'm also going to show you um, this one over here where you have the shuffle option. So the shuffle option allows you to randomize the Z order of the objects. Now this can be useful if you're wanting to create a deck of cards or something and you want 
the cards to be in a random order. So all I'm going to do over here is I'm going to align them so that they're on top of each other. At the moment, you know that they are in reverse order like this. Okay, so at the moment they are just from 10 to 1 working backwards. Now if I want to randomize them, then all I need to do is click on here and click on the shuffle button. And now you can see that they are in a completely random order. I didn't have to choose what order to select them and choose randomly because it randomizes it automatically. And again, because this is um, in the front section, anything that I've selected will be brought to the front as it is randomized. Okay, so that is the random um, button over there, or the shuffle button rather over there. Then this button over here is basically exactly the same as this one, except that everything gets sent to the back when everything is happening. So if I use this top one over here, then it will send things to the back in the order that I have uh, selected them. So the first object that I select will be right at the back, and uh, it'll work from its way from there. So at the moment, they are still in their decreasing order like that, uh, with 10 right on the top and one right at the back. So if I go and click on this button over here, then if I have selected them in a specific order, then the ones that I've selected first will be sent furthest to the back. So I'm going to select the five first, so it will be in, it will be right at the back. And then I will select the four and the three and the two and the one. And I'm going to click on that over there. So now those, the order has been rearranged and they have been sent to the back. So if I go and put these on top of each other again, then you can see that I didn't do anything to these ones. They stayed the same. But then from here on, they were sent to the back in the order that I, se that I selected them or in the reverse order that I selected them. So um, the first one I selected was sent furthest to the back and so on. Okay, so that is sending them to the back in using that button. Then the reverse works exactly the same as it did for the front, that if I choose to click on this one, then the order that they are in currently will be reversed at the same time that they get sent to the back. Um, and anything that was already behind them will then obviously be in front of them. And the shuffle one also is exactly the same as it was for the front, that they'll be sent to the back in a random order. Okay, so that is how you use the Z order group of the Time Savers 1 tab for the Time Savers added. I hope that that has been helpful and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Thank you. Goodbye.